headed to Amber Cove and wondering what is there to do in Amber Cove? Should I just play at the port or book an excursion? Well, in this video, I want to share with you what you can do at the port, some excursions that you can book, and some excursions you may not want to book. Let's get started. Did you know that Amber Cove is privately owned by Carnival Corporation? This means that only Carnival, Holland America, Princess Cruises, and Costa Cruise Lines are the only ones sailing to Amber Cove. And only two cruise ships can dock at Amber Cove at a time. So if this is on your itinerary, you're probably going to notice a little bit smaller crowds here at the port. Amber Cove is in the Dominican Republic at the northern coast, and it's not far from Puerto Plata. So cruisers can actually venture out and explore the Puerto Plata history and culture of the area. So when you first arrive at the port, you will walk through the duty-free store, and it's actually divided into two different areas. To the left, you will notice you'll have the marketplace and the welcome center. To the right will be the aqua zone. Now, when you go over to the marketplace, it's a cute little shopping area, and it offers so many types of shopping from local favorites and dining options as well. When you're walking around the shops, be sure to look for some local favorites, such as coffee beans, chocolate, local rums, and cigars. I couldn't resist going into the chocolate store and getting me some chocolate. The coffee and the chocolate in this store smelt amazing, so I definitely couldn't resist going in there. But definitely take in some of those local culture favorites here in the marketplace. Now, just over here in the Welcome Center, you can go and get your passport stamped, unofficial stamp, but a stamp showing that you did visit Puerto Plata. Now, if you take a right when you leave the duty-free store, you'll notice the Aqua Zone. The Aqua Zone has the coconut bar and some dining options, but this is all free to enter, and it has a lot of different lounging options, lounge chairs, hammocks, all free for you to relax and just enjoy the resort-style swimming pools they have. They have three different types of pools. The largest pool they have here in the Aqua Zone is a contains a swim-up bar and a lazy river. These pools are all connected together by the flowing river and even some bridges that you can walk over to enjoy just the ambiance of the area and the resort-like feel. Now, there are a lot of different things that you can rent there, such as some pool floaties to enjoy the water. Uh, a lot of these rentals start around $10 um, and go up from there. And there are a lot of different activities such as water sports that you can do here in the aqua zone. And some of these water sports include kayaking, paddle boarding, hydro bikes, which are one of my favorites, and even a solo catamaran. You can rent any one of these for 30 minutes or an hour at a time. So these are right here at the Aqua Zone, right here for you to be able to just enjoy and relax and just spend some fun time in the water. If zip lining is your thing, you can even zip line over the pools there at the Aqua Zone. They did have, when I was there, a $20 day pass for adults. So if you are interested in just zip lining as much as possible, then you can purchase that $20 day pass and you can zip line whenever you want to. Now, I did say that Amber Cove is near Puerto Plata. And if you want to explore that area, it's approximately seven miles away. So right outside the marketplace, if you walk just behind it, you can find taxis, rental cars, and you could choose to rent your car, get in a taxi, and drive down to the Puerto Plata area. Here in this area, you have so many different options to explore. Just for one, taking in the culture and just um, really immersing yourself here in the town and uh, enjoying the culture of the area. You can also go to the Rum Factory and you also have the option to go to the Amber Museum as well. Now, if a shore excursion is more what you want to do while you are there, one of the most popular shore excursions in Amber Cove is swimming with the dolphins. Of course, this is a very popular shore excursion anywhere you are in the Caribbean, but Amber Cove, it's very popular because Carnival also offers, if you see here, a excursion that is coupled with the Ocean World Adventure Park. 
This is a beautiful place to go and visit. You can take in the sea lion and shark show while you're here. You can um, visit the pirate's pool and relax even in the Dolphin Beach Lagoon. So this is a beautiful area, not far from the Amber Cove Port. So if you get a chance and you want to just go over here to the Ocean World Adventure Park, Definitely take this in, but Carnival has the option where you can couple this with a Swimming with the Dolphins excursion. Another popular shore excursion is the Waterfalls of Damahagua. I think I said that correctly. Carnival has where you can book this shore excursion with um, off-road buggy as well as the Damahagua Waterfalls. And as you see here in this particular shore excursion, you would start off going off-road on the buggies and you get to go and see some of the beautiful countryside roads and the villages there in that area and just the gorgeous countryside of the Puerto Plata area. Now, once you finish going off-road on your buggies, then that's when you would go through the waterfalls. Now, this is also, if buggies is not your choice and that is not something that you want to do, it's also coupled with monkey land. Yes, that's right. You could not only go and see the gorgeous waterfalls here in Puerto Plata, but you could also visit monkey land as well. Monkey land would be your first stop. Here, you would be able to take in the gorgeous tropical jungle area and you get to meet the cute furry little monkeys up close. But warning, they do like shiny objects. So definitely make sure you're not wearing anything shiny or you have any kind of shiny objects on you because they might take your shiny objects. <laughs> so definitely make sure that you are aware of that. And they will tell you that when you come onto the shore excursion as well. So that is just one thing that you could do. Um, couple uh, monkey land or buggies with the popular shore excursion of Damhaga Waterfalls. Once again, I hope I said that correctly. Now, I know I told you in the beginning that there may be some shore excursions that you might not want to book, and that is cabanas. Amber Cove offers Grand Cabanas, Poolside Cabanas, Hillside Cabanas, and Oceanside Cabanas. These are gorgeous and beautiful cabanas that you can book through your cruise line, or you can book it when you get there to Amber Cove. Now, all of these come stocked with refrigerators. They have weight service. Now, the Grand Cabana, it comes with a dining set and a full living room along with a hot tub as well. So this one can go up to $2,000 for the day uh, if you book it on Carnival Cruise Line. Now, I did notice when we were there, the reason I say why you might not want to book it through your cruise line and you might want to wait till you get there. And that's because when we were there, we noticed the prices were a little cheaper there at the port than what Carnival Cruise Line was offering if you booked it through them. Now, the only reason I would suggest to book it through your cruise line is if you are really wanting that cabana, uh, Oceanside, Hillside, or the Grand Cabana. Um, if you are really wanting those and you don't, you, you want to make sure that it doesn't, it's not going to be sold out by the time you get there, then definitely go ahead and reserve it through your cruise line. If you are okay, if it's not there and you want to take that risk, I personally suggest saving a few bucks and booking it when you get there at the port. That's what we were going to do one day. And we changed our minds and decided to play in the water instead. But I personally recommend waiting till you get there and just seeing what's available and just booking one of the cabanas that's available. Because when we were there, it there were several, even the Grand Cabana was still available. So there were still several cabanas available. So that's completely up to you. What would you choose? Would you risk it? Or would you just go ahead and not want to take the risk and just book it through your cruise line? I hope this was helpful for you and enjoy your trip to Amber Cove. Bye for now.